Hello guys, Christian here with a video about Camors 2020. I decided to make this video and publish it a little bit later because the new version is out for the customers uh, a few months ago and I just want to assure you that I know that these difficult times and I hope you and your family are alright. So, Camors 2020, what's new in this version? From my point of view, this version takes a turn on the right direction, introducing prop tools and operations, a long-weighted enhancement, which is steps cutting for contouring operations, and, at not at least, automatic chamfering. Besides these three options mentioned by me, there is a lot of new ones available, such as Edit Toolpath gets a new face, G-code output in subroutine format, automatically display contain and avoid area, clearance plane is displayed automatically for multi-axis operations, and technology database user interface has a new options to save and restore it. For turn and military operation, you have the ability to associate the spin direction with the hand of the cut of the tools. Uh, because right now uh, we are um, speaking of tools, in these versions we have a place to define new additional comments. Also, the new additive manufacturing module has a new enhancement because right now the user can use assemblies. And because I uh, mentioned the probe tools, the, guy for, the guys from HEL developed a new universal post generation, generator version which now can support probe tools. If you have any questions about posting uh, with probe tools, feel free to contact me. So, right now, let's try some of the new functions. In Camors 2020, you have right now a new icon, which is probe operation. And right now, I just want to show you how easy it is to uh, insert a new probe operation using, of course, a probe tool. So I extract the machinable features. Probe operation, I have here two options, new setup and pick from existing setup. I will choose setup two. New operation, pick a tool from a tool clip or from the operation parameter. And here is the tool, the probe tool, the feeds and speeds, and the probe, so you have the ability to measure X, Y, and Z. And which is amazing, from my point of view, is you have here, uh, for the probe cycle, different options. Don't worry, I will try to make um, a separate video with, uh, to explain all these functions, but today I want to show you that on the first selections, cameras automatic, automatically decides which is the best probe cycle option for you. In my case, BOSS. Of course, this is a cylindrical phase and I want X and Y. Uh, you have here the ability to update the work coordinate uh, system offset. It's 54 or 55 or whatever. The NC options and right now just click OK. Let's simulate the probe tool and this is the probe operation. You can use this probe operation uh, every, whenever you want or you feel the need to do it, you can insert it inside your technology tree. Let's try here on my Milpar setup, I will generate an operation plan. And you can use, let's say, after from technological vision, of course, after this contour mill, you can easily drag and drop or insert a new probe operation. So, I was talking also about tools, so just want to show you a quick and great enhancement here in the comment area. You have these new functions, additional details, tool ID. Vendor description also for the for the holder you have the option these options and we are in a contouring let me just 
define on this setup. I think it's this setup. I have a perimeter boss. Let's generate an, generate an uh, contour mill operation. Um, let's use these new functions here. Not end condition, not bottom of stock. I put it blind. 20 millimeter. Generate again. And right now I want to edit a contour mill operation and show you that in a control tab you have here tab cutting. You check the tab cutting, go to settings, here is the length, the thickness, the number of tabs. They are here. You can see it right now. Uh, let's modify it. As long as uh, you modify here in the graphics area, they are modified automatically. Offset, lead in, lead out comes from, if you want, comes from the operation itself. And right now I will regenerate and of course define the stock to see it. So, first, let's try the contour mill operation without tap cutting. I mean, you can understand from this picture, but let's try it to see it right now. So this is without tap cutting and with the tap cutting checked. Let's simulate again. So this kind of taps are great for, for technological um, reasons and trust me I use it and I advise you to use it if you feel the need to do it okay so moving on to the next uh, part in the older versions if you if you need to do uh, at the end of the uh, operations uh, chamfering for the age break for age breaking uh, you have the you have uh, already in technology database uh, a strategy which is called edge break, but you have to select it by yourself. Right now, the power of automation in cam in cameras um, has a new uh, has reached a new level because we set a new mill setup, and here are curve feature for chamfering. Just click OK. And right now, cameras automatically define all the edges and make an edge break operation. If, if we are editing this curve feature, you can see it here. Let's try and, and uh, define the stock manager, the current part, and make generate the operation plan, contour mill with the countersink, and the simulation look how easy it is to make right now a chamfer uh, as i told you the edit toolpath gets a new phase because right now you have also edit toolpath from the older versions but the advanced edit toolpath which is which has a new interface which is much easier if you ask me moving on i just want to show you a quick and great new enhancement So we are talking here about multi-surface feature. So in um, three axes, right now I made here an uh, area clearance with this contain area and this avoid area. So right now when you right click on the area clearance, you have the ability to display contain and avoid area. I know it, this is much, uh, this is uh, an easy enhancement, but trust me, it is very useful when you have much complicated part. So right now I have this um, area clearance with the red one, it's the avoid area and the uh, yellow one is the contain. And for multi-axis, I told you right now, I generate a multi-axis for in five axis operations. Uh, for five axis, 
this simple enhancement it's amazing because uh, when you choose the clearance it automatically displayed the clearance plane and uh, whatever you choose here you can see it visually in the graphics area uh, now let's generate to this is the roughing and then the multi-axis operation i will leave it i will leave the simulation uh, run to run until the end so mainly uh, this is camors 2020 in a short video there are a lot of new enhancement uh, i present to you watch which is the most important from my point of view i will try to make a separate video about probe tools um, i just want to make um, to tell you that cam wars 2020 and, or solidors cam 2020 comes with the free post which has already included uh, probe support it's coming from rainy show but if you have any questions regarding cam or the 2020 versions feel free to contact me via linkedin or my youtube channel if you want to um, see my latest video just hit the subscribe button on my on the um, on, on the screen you know the the drill sorry so until the next video thank you for watching stay safe